we must find a way to fulfill the HRC's mandate to consider candidate countries' human rights records and, once members, to uphold the highest standards of human rights. It is an outrage that this body, dedicated to human rights, has once again at this session served as a platform for officials who are known to be associated with human rights violations and abuses. Their presence makes a mockery of the Council's work. The Council cannot effectively act to help the oppressed when oppressors hold seats here. The legitimacy of the body is in question when countries like Venezuela and Burundi hold seats. It is unacceptable that the HRC treats Israel differently from every other UN member. The Charter itself says the UN organization is based on the principle of the sovereign equality of all its members. That is not the case when the Special Rapporteur's mandate on the occupied Palestinian territories, unlike every other Council mandate, never requires renewal. That is not the case when only one UN member state has an entire agenda item dedicated to it. When it comes to human rights, no country should be free from scrutiny, including Israel. But the institutional integrity of the Council demands that the efforts to delegitimize and isolate Israel through such blatant bias must end. <laughs>